This episode is brought to you by Mastermind Models and Miniatures and Lieber Demonica. Hi guys, welcome to Counterpoints. My name is Connor, and today we're going to be breaking down the Angels of Death prequel episode 2, Patience of Iron. It's a dope episode with a dark path which reveals the inhumanity of the Imperial faction known as the Mechanicus. If you like the video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and ring the bell to all videos so you can keep up with our latest content and check out the other videos on the channel. I promise there's tons of goodies in there. The episode begins with the Sword of Baal cutting its course to its sacred homeworld after the incident on Naiades. Magos, Castia Theta-9, the tech priestess at the heart of the Angels of Death series season 1, decides to be nostalgic and check out old footage related to an Imperial Guardsman she met prior to her escape. The episode tracks the Guardsman's journey into the Catacombs of Naiades with every step a potentially fatal one. to keep moving. Watch the tunnel. I'll look at that scratch on your back, and then we get moving, all right? The enemy are everywhere. They will find us. They just need to follow... Ah! <laughs> the blood. Look at me, sir. You are going to be fine. It's not bad. That's just as I thought. A scratch. Nothing that would let you off duties. You are a terrible liar, Vescaro. I have to be bad at something, don't I? But on my oath to the throne, sir, They'll give you a medal for this. More than one. Promotion too, huh? Major Caraval. Colonel, maybe. Got a nice ring to it, doesn't it? No honors for failure, Vescaro. We have lost. No fight's done until you aren't breathing. If we can get to one of the macro hoists, we can get up the orbital tower. There are ships up there, gonna be. Up on your feet, sir. And keep hold of your gun. together. you come from? I am Proxy Metal Servitor of Magos Castia Theta 9. You have been observed and assessed. Assessed as being non-hostile. You shall follow me. The enemy shall return. Battle Servitor. The Machine Priest. Holy Light of the Throne, we're saved! Saved? Captain! Captain! Help me with him! His flesh damage is terminal. Stand aside. What? I shall assist. His life protocol 
is ended. Assistance has been provided. The enemy shall return, you will follow. Poor, uh, poor, for, poor Sergeant Viscaro. <laughs> Good lord. So, uh, Sergeant Viscaro shows his humanity, empathy, and bravery by tending to his captain and helping him escape, refusing to abandon him on multiple occasions. Viscaro demonstrates the indomitable nature of the human spirit, while the captain shows bitterness and cynicism in line with his surroundings and the lost battle. One of the beautiful moments of this episode is showing the actual power of the Laz Rifle, cutting through a cultist with ease and demonstrating once again that the Laz Rifle is not as weak as it's criticized in popular sentiment, it's just that the enemies of the Imperium are just that tough. The growl of the Cataphron Battle Servitor is terrifying, animalistic at first, and I was relieved and in awe of the monstrous machine churning forward much like our protagonist. This is just one of the many weapons at the disposal of the Mechanicus, an empire within the empire of the Imperium of Man. In the early days of the Great Crusade, the Emperor had to forge an alliance with the Cult of Mars in order to form his new empire. He allowed them to continue their religion, the Cult of the On Messiah, have full authority over the technology of the Imperium, its knowledge and maintenance, and first rights to any new technology discovered in their conquest. The Mechanicus worships knowledge above all else, viewing it as divine, and they viewed the Emperor's genius as the Omnissiah made flesh, a techno-savior who would guide mankind into the stars and immortality. Where the Emperor crafted transhuman warriors in genetics, the Mechanicum crafted in steel, maintaining their biological function with preservatives, oils, and poisons, and transforming everything else into metal. After the war against the Men of Iron, humanity prohibited the use of complex artificial intelligence and as a result has to use human minds to direct their technology. This can be as simple as a telephone or as complex as walking war machines known as Titans. At the top of the hierarchy are the Magos, techno-zealots dedicated to unlocking the secrets of the universe. And at the bottom are servitors, slaves spliced into machines to give them barely sentient function. The Battle Servitor is not making a conscious choice about the moral worth of human life. It's making a simple calculation that the captain is on death's door and trying to save his life is not worth the liability of attracting more enemies and slowing their escape. And now Viscaro has to wonder whether or not he's truly saved. What is this place? You will stand still and be silent. Not while a cannon is pointing at my back. My captain was executed. I want to know why. Diagnostic servo units initiate biomorphic scan. Get those things away from me. It is necessary that you be still. Administer paralysis toxin. Limited duration. No! Adequate. Continue scan. Subject conforms to human norms. No primary contamination mark is found. Flag for further biologic testing. Come back! Come back! Inventory note. Technical Servitor Beta 2 exhibiting signs of third stage neurobiological breakdown. Unit to be depurposed. Come back! Come back! Complete last command. Flag subject for further biologic testing. Compact. Compliance. The 
paralysis effect will wear off now. Hi, I'm Sergeant Fescaro of the Defense Garrison. And if you don't tell me... I know who you are. I observed you as you approached my sanctuary. I am Magos Castia Theta 9. All other information is currently irrelevant. Take him to the others. Now, Sergeant Viscaro being lippy and feisty with the Tech Priestess is justified, but his Laz rifle isn't a threat to the Magos. Not only would the Battle Servitor cut him down instantaneously, but the Magos is more machine than human, and even a headshot might not prove fatal. In order to guarantee survival, Tech Priests of Mars slowly replace their biological organs, including meshing their brains with mechanical computers. These aren't limited by the physiology of human beings and can technically be placed multiple places in the body, increasing likelihood of survival in battle. The Magos notices one of her servitors malfunctioning and slates it for depurposing. The nameless slave cannot even protest its own death sentence as what was once human is either non-existent or so small it's helpless to do anything but comply. Pascaro is taken to a holding cell and meets some other survivors. Trade broker First Class Zara is the only one with some level of wits, while the remainder seem to have resigned themselves to their fate. A shaken prisoner states, the better sort didn't pass the test, implying that more prisoners were captured and were either killed at evaluation or later disappeared. The prisoners admit that they don't know what the Magos is looking for and that those that displease her disappear. This doesn't stop the Magos from keeping weapons and ammunition in the holding cell, though, showing how little she perceives the prisoners as a threat. Now, this is just my opinion, but likely in the calculative mind of the Magos, these prisoners can be used as a last-ditch defense if her battle servitors and defensive batteries should fail. In the 40k universe, life is very cheap. Now, just as Viscaro seems to be getting his bearings, he is brought back to the Magos. I am in need of context. You shall supply it. Context? Context. Additional data. <laughs> Your gun servitor killed my commanding officer, and you expect me to help you? Your commanding officer was going to expire. Go to hell. Were you aware of my presence of the Martian priesthood in these catacombs? You did not intend to reach my sanctuary. There are no other units searching for you. No. Throne. I don't even know if any of them are still alive. This location is secure. Based on ammunition reserves and machine part replacements, current defensive parameters at this location can be maintained for a further 40 years, 25 days, 3 hours, 10 minutes, and 6 seconds. Estimated. Are you insane? You have firepower. We can burn through to the tower, get to orbit, get to a ship, get help. I have been tasked with the discovery and retrieval of a sacred and wondrous item from this world. That task is not complete. If an escape was attempted, it would fail. I must complete my task. The moment and means of flight will arrive. Given enough time, that is inevitable. Then why did you save me? Save us? The cogs of the machine shall turn as long as they are blessed. Guns shall fire as long as I have bullets to feed them. But flesh... 
flesh is weak and flesh fails. I require replacements. Concerned, you will continue to have function. Access final record. The machine is God. To be of the machine is divine. Subject repurposing complete. Initiate consciousness re-engagement. I hear you. All biological and machine components functioning. Cyber meshing with intolerance. Unit is ready for initial response testing. Command, respond to question. Do you recognize the designation Vescaro? Negative. Recall records relating to your function prior to this moment. Unable to complete command. Initiate name designation imprinting. Encode name designation proxy servitor unit Alpha 1. Imprinting complete. Proxy Servitor Alpha One. Compliance. Negative. Command. Purge all records relating to human subject designated as Sergeant Vescaro. Command received. Only what is machine shall survive. Only what endures is worthy of survival. Now, admitting that Viscaro was not looking for the tech priest, that there were no other survivors aware of his location, along with his defiance, likely sealed his fate. Because the Magos is immortal, she does not need to rush the escape to orbit and die without her prize. The standard template construct. The STC, as it's known, is a data bank containing humanity's highest technological secrets, and they are jealously pursued and guarded by the Mechanicus. This relic's retrieval supersedes all other priorities. Viscaro realizes too late, he hasn't been saved in some fraternal sense of duty, but only to be replacement parts for failing servitors. Viscaro's mind has been wiped, effectively killing him, but also leaving a biological spark left to suffer. Different servitors retain different levels of sentience and even personality, but it appears almost all of what Viscaro has been is wiped. Which brings us to why did Magos Castia Theta 9 keep the recording and why did she erase it? She might have kept it as a memento of one of her favorite Defiant Captives and she erased it to avoid any criticism from fellow Imperial forces. At least that's my headcanon. That being said, no Mechanicus administrator would care. Maybe a Guardsman or a Space Marine might object to her actions, but it wouldn't be enough to actually sanction her. That's just how powerful the Martian Priesthood is. This episode ends with only what is machine shall survive and only what endures is worthy of survival, an incantation of the zealous worship of the Mechanicum. 
I have to say that I was a huge fan of the Cataphron Battle Servitors, and my only regret in this episode is not getting to see them do more work. If you like this video, like, share, subscribe, check out all the other videos, including the lore videos, join the Discord and the Patreon if you're so inclined, and I would actually like to thank our Patreon members who have supported us thus far. Ramiro Gallegos, Kevin Rabb, Leo, That Rye Guy, Adam Dean, Lesser, Garbage, thanks for hanging out, Garbage, Christian Stafford, Ellis Hayward, Miles, Keo Deus Fetas, Thomas Concepts, Column, Chris Alberti, Chad Griffith, Runon, Gassin, Tom Kai, Ruben, Sean Robertson, Crabs Go Pinch, Brian Garner, Eric Handke, and Silent. Thank you for your membership, and if you would like to join the list of the folks below, please do so. Next time, we'll be reading off the YouTube memberships. Sincerely appreciate your patronage, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Hey, you. Yes, you. Are you drowning in plastic crack? Do you keep buying models and never have them painted? Is your pile of shame bigger than the models you actually have done? The team at Mastermind Models and Miniatures can help, or M3 Studios if you prefer. The team at M3 Studios and their mastermind slash master painter Clay are just like you, addicted to plastic crack and have channeled their addiction into a passion and a profession. They paint kick-ass models to whatever standard or solution you need. Their motto is professional painting services to bring your imagination to life. Trying to just get on the tabletop? M3 Studios can do that. Try to shock and awe your local game store? M3 Studios can do that too. Want a piece of art that your descendants will fight over at your funeral? M3 Studios can do that, and it's easy. Click on the link or in the description, and you can talk to M3 Studios directly about your commission. Tell them the CounterPoints channel sent you, and not only are you guaranteed an awesome paint job at a fair price, but you help the CounterPoints channel continue to grow. What is there to lose? Stop buying models you will never paint, and instead let Clay and the M3 Studios team help you dominate your local friendly game store and show off the best painted models this side of the Mississippi. Start your commission today.